It might be energy storage in North America or renewables in the Caribbean. Either way, large-scale investors are making their moves. It's the week of March 9th. I'm Rod Walton, Content Director for Clarion Energy. We'll have those stories and more in our Energy News Wrap-Up. Global asset manager MPC Capital plans to raise $90 million from U.S. investors to finance deployment of renewable energy in the Caribbean. MPC joined the commitment to action of the Clinton Global Initiative. CGI commitments to action focus on tackling challenges in hurricane response and resiliency. The money will be allocated for up to 15 renewable infrastructure projects in the Caribbean. MPC Capital made its first investment in the renewable energy sector in the region in 2016. The new projects could total approximately 200 megawatts of installed capacity. Two Pennsylvania nuclear power reactors could now live long enough to become octogenarians. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission announced Friday that it has approved Exelon Generation's application extending the licensing for Peach Bottom Power Stations Units 2 and 3 for another 20 years. The renewed licenses now expire in the 2050s, will be 80 years after the two units became operational. The 80-year license is uncharted territory for U.S. nuclear power plants. The extensions are seen as a necessity in pro-nuclear corners because the plants offer high capacity, zero carbon, and reliable output. And only one new one at Vogel in Georgia is being built in the U.S. currently. Blackstone Energy Partners has acquired a Toronto energy storage firm. NRS Tor CNI LP targets utility scale storage deployment opportunities throughout North America. Terms of the deal were not disclosed, but Blackstone Managing Director Bilal Khan said that battery storage is playing an increasingly important role and is critical to achieving ambitious renewable energy targets. Mr. Khan, by the way, will be one of the panelists from the private equity sector speaking at PowerGen International's Leadership Summit, which will be December 8th through 10th in Orlando. Blackstone owns Clarion Energy, which is PowerGen International's parent company. NRS Tor currently has more than 200 megawatt hours in operation, in construction, or contracted energy storage projects in North America, mainly Canada. Coronavirus stories seem to be everywhere, and now it's hit the global energy sector. An Indonesian hydropower project has been temporarily shut down because its workers from mainland China are unable to fly in due to the COVID-19 virus travel ban. Batang Taru is a run of river project on the river of the same name. The power plant will contain four 127.5 megawatt turbine generator units and produce up more than 2,200 gigawatt hours annually. It was scheduled to begin operation in August of 2022, but almost certainly will miss that target date. Indonesia approved the travel ban to and from China on February 5th. Well, that's it for this edition of the Clarion Energy News Wrap-Up. I'm Rod Walton, and thank you for watching.